What's going on Reef Builders? I am Jake Adams, back in the studio, here to talk to you today about how to cycle a saltwater tank. The primitive way of cycling in a saltwater aquarium is to basically add some fish in there, some hardy damsel fish, and just wait four to six weeks for the nitrogen, for the biological cycle to happen. But we have a much, much better technique uh, in store for this aquarium. Now I had, a video of actually building out this tank but since it's a saltwater tank it's super duper simple so i can just kind of show you what we will be working with so this is the 128 gallon pro star rimless aquarium from pro clear aquatic systems big thanks to them for sponsoring our fish aquarium uh it's six feet long has high clarity glass has a very thin low profile overflow in the middle um, and since i'm keeping everything black in there you pretty much can't see it um, it comes on a steel frame stand and because it's steel frame then you can have really light doors um, that I actually really like they're very light very fancy and this particular setup comes with a four foot sump that I have yet to really outfit with much of anything. So powering this tank is some CHA action, some CHA love. These are all wirelessly controllable um, controllers here. So this is the controller for the uh, CHA Synchro 7, the SDC Synchro 7. And then I have two Xtreme E water pumps providing water flow. You'll notice all the cables are neatly tied and I still have a little bit of room here so I can pull off these controllers and kind of kind of get at them so big thanks to Siche uh, for powering this reef tank and I'm actually very excited this is the first tank I've been able to set up uh, the brand new bulk reef supply uh, customized ink bird temperature controller and that is basically controlling a uh, modified Shago heater right there with a titanium uh, build so we've got 300 watts of power to uh, keep this tank nice and warm and stable temperature. So I have a lot of room here to uh, experiment, modify, and customize this sump. But um, the real important part, the meat and potatoes of this aquarium, here's a CJ, uh Synchro return pump. We've got our export bricks from Brightwell for providing a uh, biomedia area for our bacteria to grow on. But probably the most important part of this video is going to be the Senai monitor. If you've never heard of Senai, they've actually been producing this, this USB dongle that you can plug into your computer that will monitor temperature, pH, and ammonia. So what we're going to do is instead of me measuring ammonia every few days like a schmuck i basically already have an ammonia concentration as mon as measured here by the senai so this uh, free ammonia is 0.2 ppm that's roughly equal to 2 ppm of total ammonia that you would measure with your aquarium so i've talked about the modern wave cyclist tank there's a lot of different uh, tank cultures and solutions that offer the instant cycling uh, experience, but Brightwell has a brand new product called Microbacter Start XLM that they told me would cycle this tank in record time. And what makes this product uh, unique from others is it doesn't have the same kind of shelf life as um, some of the tank start solutions that you probably have seen in refrigerators, right? So some of these other uh, tank starter cultures need to be refrigerated. They might only last, I don't even know, maybe like two weeks to a month. So you really have to check the best before date. But the brand new solution, the Microbacter Start XLM from uh, Brightwell doesn't have that issue. It's supposed to have like a one year shelf life and get really hot, get really cold. But basically I'm told all I need to do is add 200 mLs of Microbacter Start XLM to this tank and watch the ammonia fall. So instead of measuring the ammonia like a schmuck, I'm gonna be able to graph the entire thing out thanks to the Senai. Uh, so we're gonna add some of that and I guess I'll come back to you guys when this tank is cycled. One week later. The little experiment is completed. I have never, I've never cycled an aquarium without like some kind of seed biomedia from another tank. So it really was like a new territory and a completely different experience to cycle this aquarium, but really just cycle the biomedia inside the sump. But let me show you the results that we came up with. So 
this is a view of the uh, the Senai graph. So I ran the tank with ammonia for several days. So this is 1st December, 2nd December, and 3rd December, just to kind of make sure um, that things were stable. And right there on the 3rd of December, you can see when we added the Fast Start XLM and it just started dropping precipitously. And just like the label says, in seven days, right at seven days, our ammonia level basically flatlined to, you know, pretty much negligible level. So it was really fun to use the Senai to do this testing, but definitely had to take like a crash course in ammonia because it measures free ammonia, not total ammonia, which we were used to. So, um, but yeah, Senai is gonna be a really cool device to have on the fish tank to just alert me to pH swings and any bump in ammonia that happens, it's gonna let me know right away. And uh, so now we have a completely cycled 150 gallon tank ready for some fish. And the, the very strange thing is the indicator that you're completed your biological cycle is the appearance of nitrate, which is totally normal in any system. That's how you know it's done with the ammonia, it's done with the nitrite. We also tested the nitrite and there's, there's none in here. But when once I was finished, I had 150 gallons of a hundred of slightly nutriated elevated nitrate level seawater. So I actually did a complete water change and that's the bump that you saw on the graph. But definitely if I had to do it all over again, I would, um, I wouldn't even plumb up the tank. I would just cycle through the sump because the only biomedia is the export bio bricks that I have here. So there was no reason to have the entire tank running and basically waste 150 gallons of water and seawater mix. So now that the first fish tank is completed and cycled, I have a bunch of fish just absolutely itching to get out of the fish hotel. We're gonna put them in here, but we need to do three things. I need to build some kind of a light stand or light rack to figure out what kind of lights to put on here. That's gonna be a fun little project because fish, we literally just need superficial lighting. We just need ornamental lighting to bring out the colors of the fish while also trying to keep it off the front glass so I don't have to clean that as often. So we need something for the lights. Need a lid. A good fitting lid so fish don't jump out. And since this is a reef tank, so this, this is, isn't a reef tank, I don't really care about evaporation because I'm not dosing calcwasser. So we can keep it enclosed and the heater's gonna run a lot less. But then I'm really curious about creating a fun aquascape in here. Oh, and I don't wanna use rocks at all. It's just, I just don't wanna use rock. I just feel like that's gonna trap funk and dirt. And, and so I'm really leaning towards doing a jungle gym made out of like three inch black PVC parts. Um, so just like the CJ uh, Synchro 7 running in the tank and the Xtreme SDC uh, CJ's controllable pumps, they're all black so they completely disappear. So I'm thinking a black jungle gym of of uh, wider diameter PVC parts is gonna be really fun because I, I don't, want this to be a reefscape. I don't want this to be an aquascape of any kind. I literally just want to be a good home for fish with nowhere for waste and stuff to build up, but you know, places for the fish to call their own and, and to hide into and go to sleep in. So, um, so yeah, this tank is uh, ready to go. We just have a few uh, ornamental boxes to check to get it going. Really want to thank the several companies who are supporting this aquarium. We got CJ with the equipment. We have Pro clear with the tank, Senai with the sensor, and especially Brightwell uh, for all the biological product needs. Um, if you're interested in cycling a tank like this, you definitely want to take a read at the spec sheet or the information sheet for the Fast Start XLM um, because it's very, very potent, but you don't want to mix it with other bacterial products like we did in our uh, How to Set Up a Reef Tank mini series from a couple weeks ago. So um, thank you for tuning into this video, the uh, saltwater fish tank is an art that's really kind of been uh, 
all but eclipsed by reef tanks. But if you're really, really into the fish and you want to see how this tank develops, make sure to subscribe. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And I really want to hear your ideas, just like the closed loop video, for aquascaping materials in here besides rock. We've all seen big piles of rocks for all kinds of purposes, but I think we can do something a little bit more fun, a little bit more creative. So thank you for joining us on this video and we'll catch you on the next one.